The Mother's Day Commitment Fest rolls on. Brent, Tennessee picks up Caden Salter. It now has its quarterback for the class of 2021, and I think a pretty good one. You go and watch his film, you see why a lot of schools fell in love with the kid from Texas. Well, it's about the ability to extend the play and to make plays. You know, he, he's – He's kind of closer to that combination of a of an athletic mobile quarterback that you want. He there are guys more elusive in in the open field out there than Caden Sawyer, but they don't Sawyer, but they don't throw it as well as as Caden does. And then there are guys who throw it probably a little bit better, but they don't move as well. So I think he is the mix of a guy who can do things with his feet, but throws it certainly well enough to be an effective quarterback. And let's face it, Austin, Tennessee got. Tennessee was fortunate here. The timing fell perfectly for them in terms of how it lay, planned out or laid out for them to land this commitment when you talk about his visit to Tennessee. You're exactly right. He was on campus the moment the SEC tournament got canceled, the moment the dead period began. and uh, But he got to finish his visit because he was already here from the, from the state of Texas, got to see everything, and just left here, I think, no one, Tennessee's the landing spot. Auburn made a run. Baylor obviously tried – to, to get back in on him. And realistically, if Matt Rule's still at Baylor, he probably is going to be a Baylor Bear. But Matt Rule's not. And so that altered his recruitment quite a bit and a big reason why Tennessee got heavily involved, um, just just the way he handles himself. Jimmy Cheney loves his moxie, um, really sold him on development, Brent. And uh, this kid really likes Chris Winkie and Jim Cheney a ton. Well, and I think you said it, you know, Chris Winkie was important, but Jim Chaney's development of quarterbacks, the ability to develop um, in the passing game is something that, that Salter was looking for. You know, he did not want to be just a guy that, hey, go be our runaround quarterback. He wants to develop into much more of a pocket quarterback. He has the talent and the skills to do that. Um, he's got the, 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 the know-how, the smarts, the desire that I think Jim Chaney was – always looks for in a quarterback. I mean, Cheney's looking for a specific mentality. He really is. I mean, he, he's got a pretty good idea, having done this as long as he has, uh, of what he's looking for from a mental makeup, which is why I, I don't think Jim Cheney obsesses Austin with whether the guy's six foot four, whether he's a pure pocket guy or what he is. I mean, I, I think Jim Cheney's clearly comfortable with, hey, we'll play with all different styles of quarterbacks, but he's got to have the mental makeup that I want and I think that's something that Jim Chaney came away with after that visit that, hey, he's got the mental makeup I'm looking for. And Salter came away with, hey, this is a guy who's going to develop me into a much better true quarterback. And I think that's why this ends up being a perfect marriage for Tennessee in this class. You bring up mental makeup. And, and I look at, the you know, he doesn't care about size. He coached Drew Brees. That's his biggest feather in his cap as he'll ever have in his career probably. And, and, and Drew Brees is six foot. It doesn't have to. It doesn't matter the height. If you can throw it, you can throw it. But I think the mental makeup makes a lot of sense. He loved Jake Fromm because what? He was smart. He Absolutely. knew where to go with the football. Didn't make mistakes. Uh, very intelligent. Probably the thing that drove him crazy about Tyler Bray is Tyler Bray had arm talent out the yin yang, but where he would he would he would falter some with the mental side of the game. So to find a quarterback that he feels like mentally checks all the boxes to me, you make a ton of sense with with, with that point. Well, I think, look, going back to it for a, a bit of a negative, if you want to, um, and I don't mean to be negative, but, I mean, I think one of the things that Tennessee was hesitant about with Cam Newton when Jim Cheney here was the, fir the first time was could he handle management of the offense from a mental standpoint. Uh, I think if you take and look at when he was at Georgia and you had uh, – you put Jacob Eason and Jake Fromm side by side, Austin, Easton throws the ball better. He's got a bigger arm. He's got more measurables. But Fromm had that mental makeup and that moxie that Jim Chaney looked at and said, hey, I can win with that. I can win, guess what, at South Bend with him as a freshman. We can win other places. And so I think when Jim Chaney evaluates quarterbacks, yes, he wants a guy who can throw it. That's obvious. If you can't throw it, you're not going to recruit him. But the separator for him is the mental side, the ability to manage the game, the ability to make the 10 guys around him better is what Jim Chaney is looking for. And if that means the guy maybe doesn't throw it, you know, as far as another guy does, then he'll take that. He's okay with that because the mental side, the winner aspect of it is so important for Jim Chaney uh, in his evaluation of quarterbacks. And, again, I think this marriage happened 
because they got him on campus. If he did not, if, if Caden Sarr had not got on campus, Austin, I don't know if either side is comfortable with Tennessee, but because he got here, he got those couple of days to spend with him right before the dead period. This thing fell into, uh, fell into place perfectly for Tennessee. Sure did. And now Tennessee's on to the 2022 class in recruiting quarterbacks. That is a class that obviously Ty Simpson, Caden Martin, um, you know, Anton Davis's kid, uh, you know, there's a lot of talented quarterbacks in that class of 2022. And now Tennessee's focus will turn to it at this position as they are done with the 2021 quarterback class, Caden Salter picking the balls on Mother's Day. <laughs> 